Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. I work in the Advanced Technology Centre in the UK as part of IBM Europe. This movie is about workload partitions, or WPAR for short, and application mobility, where we move these WPARs between machines. This is all part of AIX6. In this session, we're going to look at the properties of a workload partition, the ones that we can set to control a workload partition. Back to our list of workload partitions here. I've going to have a look now at the uh, properties that we can find out about uh, a workload partition. I'm going to use WP12 here. Now I have um, stopped it and uh, undeployed it so that uh, it's not actually in use at the moment at all. This allows us to make changes to uh, most of the properties of it. Some of them we can't change if it's active or if it's in a defined state on a particular machine. For example, the network and the file systems, we can't change that while it's actually in use. Now, actually, to change the uh, work to partition, we can either click on the name or we can select it and look at New, View and Modify Properties. We have a series of tabs along here that we can look at to find out uh, the various things about our workload partition. So we can have here the uh, name and we can change that and we have a description that we can put in here to remind ourselves what uh, we're actually doing with this workload partition. We can also set the uh, a new root password for the uh, workload partition, particularly useful if we have an administrator that's accidentally forgotten his password or uh, we don't know what it is, we can reset it so we can gain access to the workload partition. We also have a click button here to decide whether this workload partition starts up immediately when this copy of our X starts up or whether we have to manually go and uh, start it or not. If we look at relocation, this button here allows us to decide whether this workload partition can be moved or not. Of course to be movable then the private file systems have to be mounted on NFS with this current version. But we can also disable them for being moved. Perhaps we want to make sure that this workload partition only runs on one particular machine. On the network side here we have a, a host name attached to this workload partition. This inherits name resolution means that we get the DNS settings from the global copy of AIX and you can see here we already have the definition for the current Ethernet. Here we can add a new network if we have more than one network in a global copy of AIX or we can modify the settings of the one we have here. So in here we can change any of the details we have for our network. This could be used for example if we're moving a workload partition between two machines that are actually on a different network. If we shut it down, move it across, and then modify the network address and uh, maybe the host name as well, then we can actually bring up the workload partition on a different network. Normally we can only do live application mobility if both AIX systems are on the same network. I'll cancel out of that. That is OK at the moment for my simple machines that only have one network anyway. Next we look at file systems. Here we can see that we've got read-only access to the opt and slash user file systems. So we're inheriting those from the global copy of AIX. We could make those private to the workload partition, but that means there's extra work to do when we update the global copy of AIX. We have to make sure that these are synchronized with the global copy, because after all we only have one kernel and one set of libraries that we can actually call. We can also add new file systems in here, but we can only do this when the workload partition is completely unmounted in this undeployed state. If we look at the path, we have in here a command that we can run that will be run whenever the workload partition starts. So, for example, if in this workload partition we have a database or a web server or a particular application we want to run, and that's why we actually have the workload partition in the first place, then we can put in here a script 
it'll actually start up this workload as soon as the workload partition starts. In privileges here, we won't actually see anything in this state. Only when we're deployed or active on a particular global copy of AIX do we actually find the details of what's in here and we can change them. That's because they are inherited above and beyond what is already set in your global copy of AIX. I'll bring up uh, an example of this uh, later on so you can see what options we can set when this uh, panel is actually available. And finally we have resource control. Now if you're familiar with workload manager this is a feature that we've had with ARX all the way back from ARX 4.3.3. In that uh, system we have a way of classifying all our processes and adding them to explicitly to uh, a particular class and in those classes then we can control the CPU and memory in terms of uh, shares as we can see here. We can specify a minimum if those calculations on the shares mean that the percentage is actually particularly low, we can specify a minimum. And then we have soft maximums and hard maximums. We can never go over the hard maximum, but we can go over a soft maximum if there are spare resources. We also have some extra things in here from later versions of Workload Manager, like the maximum number of processes, the maximum number of threads. And we have a thing here called a resource set. We'll look at those more when we look at performance tuning. For now though, I'll cancel that. And we can get back to our standard panel. If we now look at WP13, we can quickly look at those privilege as said when it's actually running. Here we have the rollback access control privileges, and we can control those from here. We're not going to cover these in detail, as it's uh, more of a security options. But we can, for example, say if we don't want somebody to use probe view within a workload partition, we can unclick it here and hit finish. In the next session we're going to look at how we can log on to a global copy of AIX and use the command line to access and control our workload partitions.